This is how I afforded my $3,000 setup at 16 years old. The first thing that I did as a kid, this was about two years ago at the age 14, I started mowing lawns. This is actually me. No, I'm kidding, this is from Google. If you guys haven't done this before, the thing I did was I went up to my neighbor's houses and I asked if I could mow their lawn. And then after that, I started expanding around my town and just kept growing and growing and growing just a little bit, sometimes one job at a time and doing it that way. Now the first year I probably made around 500 bucks and this was a lot for a 14 year old at the time. And I thought this was very cool to do this and be an entrepreneur so I did it again that next year. This is when it really changed. I didn't have a push mower anymore, I actually had a riding lawn mower. This was so much faster because I didn't have to walk to every single house. I rode my lawnmower like a car, drove around my city mowing lawns. That was when I made probably close to around 1500 bucks in that one year. It was one day that I actually made $200 one day. I worked for about four or five hours straight and I made 200 bucks. I thought that was very, very good for a 15 year old. It was really fun and last year I just finished up for the summer for all my lawn care stuff. Summer I've made probably close to three or four grand. I'm totally not committing tax fraud. Oh shoot, am I not supposed to Never mind, you didn't hear me say that. In about three or four grand this year, and it was really, really cool. Had more clients, and next year I plan on having 60 clients a week. Well, that's insanity, but now I have some money saved away so I can actually promote my business through flyers. But I think over time, I just added to my setup as I went. Initially, I had just my free desk. I just started adding, I had my Xbox that I got as a Christmas gift. I got my PC, the one that I have now, that's 500 bucks. I just got monitor, very, very cheap. I got another monitor that wasn't very cheap. I just kept building and building and building and building to finally what I got today. Now I do have to say, if you guys are making money, I totally recommend saving it. As a kid, right away, when I got money, I just spent it. It's very poor to do that, I think. So if you wanna eventually end up Having more money for the long run, I definitely would go towards that. The thing that I feel like I learned a lot is I like making bigger purchases versus just cheap ones because the bigger purchases actually mean a lot more versus something that's like 20, 30 bucks and has just a minor change. What I did with this desk, that's what I did with the PC, my camera, my mic, all these kind of things that really formed my content today because I was smart with my money and I saved up for the bigger things. I think if you guys really want to get into content creation, you really have to save up your money and not necessarily spend it, but save up your money for the bigger things. Trust me, they're way more worth it. I got like a $30 webcam. I hated it. It looked like garbage. Then I upgraded to a camera and that was tremendously different. It was like so crisp, so clear, totally worth it. What I'm meaning is spend your money wisely on bigger things. It will make a big difference in your setup and your content creation journey. The other thing that I did as a kid to make a little bit more money is I did chores for my parents. I was mowing the lawn, picking up dog poop, all that kind of gross, not very fun stuff. I feel like if you want to start a side hustle or a business, you just have to find stuff that people don't want to do and do it. That's the biggest thing. That's how it will work out the easiest for you. Very happy with this setup at this point, but it is definitely not my dream setup. I can't wait to see how cool my setup is in the next few months, few years, and when all my stuff starts popping off on YouTube. You guys really want to help me out you can subscribe down below it means a lot to me Let me know if you guys have any questions and i'll answer them down in the comments thank you guys so much and peace out you left me scarred. Yeah.